Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a, a little cleaning. The house is a mess and I really need to get it cleaned up and I thought I'd take you guys along with me. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to do all things homemaking. I love to decorate, I love to cook, and I love to keep a tidy, clean, calm home. If you like that type of content, definitely hit the subscribe button. I have a whole lot more that I'm going to be sharing for the rest of 2024 here on my channel and I'd love it if you would join us. If you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay guys, let's start the day with a delicious, cup of coffee and then make our list of all the things we need to get done today. I have always found that making lists daily and weekly and monthly really helped me to stay organized. If you're looking for a how-to on uh, the system that I use personally, I will link that video down below. It really does help me stay prioritized, especially since I am a full-time working mom with four children and a husband who also sometimes feels like a fifth child. Tell me if you've got the same in your comments down below. Thank God we love them, but still, my goodness. Um, but I also have to keep a tidy house. For me, it helps with my mental health and it just keeps everything organized so that I can have as stress-free of a life as possible. A lot of that comes with prioritizing responsibilities as an adult. One of the things I like to do every single month is to clean my mattress. I do this by adding a little baking powder to the bed. I let it sit there for about a half an hour, hour, um, kind of rub it in a bit, and then I vacuum it, which is also exciting because today's sponsor happens to be Helix Sleep. If you guys aren't familiar with Helix Sleep, they make premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your personal needs, and they're conveniently shipped right to your door. The Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including their award-winning Lux and Ultra Premium Elite Collection. They also have Helix Plus, a mattress designed for bigger and taller sleepers, as well as Helix Kids, which is designed for growing bodies and endorsed by children's sleep and medical experts. To find the right mattress for you, you can head over to Helix Sleep. You can take their Helix Sleep quiz and it will match you to the perfect mattress based on your body type and sleep preferences. I am a side sleeper and went ahead and took the quiz. I ended up with the Midnight Lux, which is so beautiful. We've had this mattress for two years and I'm telling you, it is like sleeping on a cloud. It was delivered right to my front door and it was shipped for free. And the mattress comes rolled up in a box. It's easy to set up. There's also a hundred night sleep trial to test the mattress out to ensure you'll love it and you will because I still love mine and Helix mattress also includes a 10-year warranty and they offer financing options and flexible payments. Since I am a side sleeper I have found that this mattress has made a tremendous difference on my sleep quality. I also would highly recommend upgrading to their Glossiotex uh, cooling cover if you're a hot sleeper which I am. I find this to be a much cooling effect on the body and it provides a much more comfortable sleep than any other mattress I've had. And if you are in the market for a new mattress, you are just in time because they are having their Labor Day sale, which is 25% off. If you want to go down to the links down below, you will get 25% off your Helix mattress during the sale. I want to thank Helix mattress for sponsoring today's video and giving me two years of the best sleep I've ever had. All right, guys, let's get this bed made. Pepe is going to give us a hand. I'm probably about two more weeks out before winterizing this bed where I'm gonna have our heating blanket and just uh, much thicker down comforters. Right now I still have a lot of our summer stuff on here. It's It's been hot here in Northern California, but recently we've had it cool down so much so that we turned the heater on the other morning and we've had the fireplace on at night. It has been chilly. So I say it's time to get into the fall vibes. We're gonna get this room nice and cozied up for the winter. Um, I'm really hopeful that we have a rainy winter. I feel like the last couple winters have not been very rainy here and I just love a cozy rainy winter. Um, here in Northern California, I feel like when I was a kid, we used to have more traditional seasons here, but now it just isn't that way. Like we have many months that um, are winter months that are still really uh, warm and beautiful. So I'm hoping we get a nice traditional winter. The last thing I need to do in this room after I clean everything up is I need to fold my laundry. I've got about five loads that we have sitting in the garage that I need to bring in and get uh, cleaned up and then put in baskets for the kids to take upstairs. Tell us in the comments down below, what is the weather like where you live? Are you looking forward to a nice cozy cold winter or are you heading south where it's nice and warm? 
I want to head into the living room and just tidy everything up. In case you're wondering, this uh, sweater or shirt jacket, I don't know what it's called, um, I'm wearing right now, I picked up, actually this entire outfit is from Target. So if you like that, head over to Target. It's very thick. Um, it's a mix between, I would say, like a shirt and a jacket. Like it's very heavy and it's really well constructed. I just love Target. They have a little bit of everything you need. You, I mean, if you can't find it at Target, you probably don't need it. So anyway, I'm going to clean up this living room. Uh, this is where we spend most of our time as a family, especially in the winter months um, when the kids can't really go play outside. Uh, we do have that front living space, which I just, we never really use it. I wish I could make sense of this space, but it's a 24 foot ceiling in there and it's cold and drafty and we just don't hang out in there much. I do love to use it to decorate. I will be putting up two 15 foot trees. So that's 30 feet of Christmas trees in that room. Um, the scaffolding gets delivered on November 1st and all the trees get delivered probably sometime mid October. Um, so just if you are looking for a very over the top Christmas decorate with me, definitely hit the subscribe button because I go over the top for Christmas. I do have some really fun things I'm going to be doing this year that I haven't done in years past um, that I'm just really excited to share with you because um, in many years past, I've kind of had a hard time with this house particularly. We've lived here for two years and it's kind of, you know, the backdrop to my YouTube videos. And for me, I've had a hard time kind of getting a sense of what I'm going to do, but I already kind of outlined each room and how I'm going to decorate it for Christmas. And I am really looking forward to sharing it because I think it's going to be beautiful, especially now that we have the bookshelf. Um, I'm going to be doing a little Santa's library over there with all of my Limax. If I can get my husband to put the electrical throughout all of that, it will be so magical. I cannot wait to share that with you. It will take me probably uh, the total of November. It takes me about a month to get everything up and decorated. I usually have either Hallmark or QVC playing in the background. I'm loving QVC plus HSN plus. I don't know if you guys watch that ever, but they have. I usually only watch it this time of year, like fall to Christmas, because they have movies on there that you can actually shop the items while you're watching. I just think that's so creative and fun. If you guys want to check either of those channels out, I highly recommend it. They're so fun. So anyway, I'm going to keep cleaning in here and get everything tidy. I've got my robo rock going. It is vacuuming and mopping the whole house. I can't remember the last time I actually uh, vacuumed or mopped our house. I, honestly, uh, it does such a great job. I don't have to do anything. And if you saw in my last decorate with me video here in this living room for fall, I went ahead and changed things around and then absolutely loving having this coffee table in here. Um, it's just really been a great space for us to kind of play games as a family. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. This is just a wonderful, peaceful place for us to spend as a family. I will link those videos down below as well. And let's just keep cleaning and get the dust off of this living room and nice and clean and tidy for a lovely fall evening. thinking about getting some new stools for over by the kitchen area. And I would love to know in the comments down below what kind of stools you think I should go with. I love the ones that are there, but they're a little bit too short. I didn't, I got like counter height, not bar height. So I am going to need to uh, update those, but I'd love to know what you guys think. Should I go with the ones that I used to have at the Victorian? I was also thinking of doing these little farmhouse chairs. They have them in bar height, but then I thought maybe that was too matchy matchy. Let me know in the comments 
down below what you guys think. Also, I get a lot of questions about our island and where I got it. Um, my best friend moved from uh, Napa, where we live. She moved all the way to Chicago, and she couldn't take it with her, so we ended up buying it from her. Uh, it is a Ralph Lauren uh, table. It was very expensive. Um, don't know where to find another one, but it is absolutely beautiful. It does have a cutting board that slides out. I've never used just because I, I don't know. I don't want to like ruin it or anything, but it is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful piece. And um, it fits so beautifully in here. If you guys remember this kitchen uh, before we absolutely ripped out that island, it was gigantic and it just... I don't know. It didn't feel very uh, much my style. Eventually, we are going to need to gut this kitchen. We're about almost finished with my mom's house. And I decided after uh, really taking it into consideration that my mom's house was her private space. And um, I just felt that it wasn't the right thing to share it here on social media or on YouTube. So I am not going to be sharing the before and after at her house. Um, the construction is pretty much done. Um, it is so cute. We put in a porch with some rocking chairs and completely redid the bathrooms. And it just turned out, I picked everything out the way she would have wanted it uh, if she was still alive but um, we do have a beautiful sweet family moving in and I just decided I am not going to be sharing it here um, for the sake of just she isn't alive and doesn't have the ability to give me permission to share her home so I understand that now it is uh, my children and my husband and my responsibility to care for the home but I just I don't know it just didn't feel right so I'm sorry I'm not going to be sharing that but it did turn out absolutely beautiful I might share some um, just very very detailed photos on Instagram just because I think the composition turned out really pretty but for the most part I'm not going to be doing a full uh, renovation video for the sake of continuing to give her her privacy. Um, I miss her so much I cannot believe we're coming up on one year since she passed away. It still feels very unreal um, if you've lost a parent or loved one. Um, I'm learning that the grief never goes away. You just kind of learn how to live with it. Uh, but most of the time, I kind of just push it all down and pretend like she's still alive and talk to her uh, throughout my whole house and life. <laughs> so for this kitchen, I did finally get the pink stuff, and it is super lovely. I, I think it's lovely. If you use it, it's great. Um you know, I, I like uh, the the uh, barkeep. I like anything, but it, it really did make the sink nice and shiny, and I liked it. So if you use it, uh, great. Thank you for recommending it. It turned out beautiful. So for the countertops, I'm going to be using my Mrs. Meyers uh, Everyday Cleaning Day. You cannot go wrong with this product. It is so good. It smells delicious. It works, and it's only $4.99. Um, sometimes you can get it on sale for three uh, $3.49 or $3.50 or something, but I'm telling you, if you're looking for a multi-surface cleaner, that is my go-to. I will never use anything else. It is so good. Last thing I need to do is head into the other living room and get it cleaned up. The kids play in here quite a bit and we have dinner at this table and it's always a mess, so we're gonna get it nice and tidy. sure if I shared this in a previous video but I did move that coffee table from the other living room in here and I feel like this whole space just feels so much more open since taking the other couch out I just love it I think that I'm probably gonna leave it this way I had uh, on my to-do list I was going to buy another couch for this space but I think I'm just gonna leave it it looks great and there's enough room for both of my Christmas trees which is pretty much all I think about at all times uh, where are my Christmas trees gonna go so um, I think we're gonna be able to just kind of limp along with the couch we have and then maybe next year after I get all the Christmas stuff cleaned up and out we will go ahead and um look at doing a, a little bit of different furniture in this space. Now that I have all of that laundry done, we are gonna start getting everything folded and I like to just keep all the kids' stuff separated. I put it into a bin for each kid and then they take it upstairs. It makes it very easy. I love having that, uh, you know, my kids have grown a little bit more since babies and now they can pretty much do their own stuff, but they're not at the place where um, they are like doing their own laundry yet. I still do all of that and we also do have help 
help in the house. But for the most part, they know how to put their clothes away. They know how to put it in the hamper. They can bring it downstairs. We process the laundry. I fold it and then they take it back upstairs. That has been a great little cycle for us, but I look forward to the day when they can do it all on their own. I love to use this ladder uh, for all of the towels we use. I feel like our entire family uses our bathroom for everything from showers to brushing teeth, nighttime, morning routine. So I always like to keep it really well stocked. We have two bathrooms upstairs for the kids that they never use. They're completely empty. I have nothing in them because uh, they just simply don't use it. But I love that Pepe decided to come and help me. He is so curious and sweet and cute. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to say hi. He wanted to see all the things we have. We have some little masks. We have his little uh, puppy preening kit. Uh, this is where I gave him his little baths. And then he was able to shut the drawer all by himself. He is just so advanced. The last thing I need to do on this cleaning day is get the uh, bathroom nice and wiped down. So I'm just going to be using my Mrs. Myers. I'm going to spray it all over and just give everything a nice quick wipe down. I pretty much do this every day when I get home from work. I just sweep through the house. I clean both the living rooms. I tidy the kitchen. I tidy our bedroom if I haven't already done that before I left for work. And then I always like to wipe down the bathroom and put away all the things the kids use during the day. I like this routine. It keeps the house nice and calm and clean. It keeps things organized. And I like to always make Make sure that things are put back where they belong, which pretty much by now my kids do on their own. But every now and then you'll see a little something, you know, just out of the ordinary somewhere it shouldn't be. I found my tweezers in the yard the other day and the kids said that they were playing with them. And I don't even want to know what was going on with that. But Pepe needed some water. So we're going to give him a little water and then I'll give you a little tour of our nice, cozy fall clean house.
it feels so good to have the whole house nice and clean and ready for a cozy fall evening of cooking. If you want to check out my fall cooking video, it will be linked down below. I have many, many recipes here on my channel if you're looking to get inspired to cook something cozy for your family. Pepe and I are going to go play outside and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Don't forget to check out Helix Sleep and get 25% off your best night's sleep ever. All right, guys, see you in the next video real soon. Bye.